All right, let's get to work. Come on. David and Jason Benham flip houses. They buy homes, repair them, and sell them. They're so good at it that this TV network picked them to star in a reality TV show. They told the twins, We're going to make you stars on our network. But then the producers learned that the brothers had spoken at this prayer rally where people criticized gay marriage. God is asking. And this website called out David for saying this in a radio interview. We have a homosexuality in the agenda that's attacking the nation. HDTV called the brothers up. The very first question was, are you guys anti-gay? You did say homosexuality and its agenda that is attacking the nation. That sounds like you hate gays. No, that's, we don't hate gays at all. It's not hateful to say that sex should be only within the confines of marriage between a man and a woman as God defines it. That's not hateful. What they do is they take our words, kind of like what you just did, and said, you hate gays. The TV network then announced it had fired the brothers. We had been filming for five weeks. We had taken roofs off of houses. I mean, there's a lot of money being invested in this show. HGTV has every right to fire them. The First Amendment applies only to government. Private businesses can have any speech rule they want. It's a private company, they have a right to fire. They do, but they shouldn't do it. Every one of these victories is a victory for an ever more shriveling space for public expression. We're not victims. Hey, they gave us an opportunity and they paid us for about six weeks really good money. These days, lots of people get fired because of something they say. I made a lot of jokes that were probably edgy. Pax Dickinson was chief technology officer for Business Insider. But then this website revealed that on Twitter he'd joked about rape and defended sexist jokes, saying, it's not misogyny to enjoy boobies. People then said, I should be fired, I'm a piece of crap, I should be drummed out of tech. The next morning, I was fired. Losing the job is, is one thing, but being blacklisted from my entire industry that I have 20 years of experience in, that is a much scarier thing. Your tweets are racist, sexist, homophobic. You well, should be fired. You're a disgusting person. They couldn't find anybody to say that I was ever sexist professionally or personally. It was just words that got him fired, or certain kinds of words. It's people who only disagree politically with the left who are attacked. The Food Network has dropped Paula Dean. Paula Dean was fired after she admitted to using the N-word 30 years ago. She tried to save her career with this apology. Please forgive me for the mistakes that I've made. But the Food Network never took her back. When the owners of Chick-fil-A said, we oppose gay marriage, people protested. That's fine, that's free speech. But then government got involved. The mayors of Chicago, San Francisco, and Boston telling Chick-fil-A that it is not welcome in their cities. San Francisco's mayor, the closest Chick-fil-A is 40 miles away. I strongly recommend they not try to right. come any closer. Right ideological enforcement and and free societies do not have state ideologies i would hope but no new chick-fil-a's have opened in chicago san francisco or boston these comets are, are time capsules from the early solar system leftists also attacked this physicist he'd helped land a probe on a comet for the first time in history it's very exciting but he said that while wearing this shirt which some people called offensive sexist. The shirt I wore this week. Um, he quickly apologized. I made a big mistake and I offended many people and I'm very sorry about this. The physicist didn't even fight back. He cried at his apology press conference. And they destroy him anyway. They don't care whether he's sorry. An apology isn't enough. What they're doing here is making an example to others. They also made an example of Silicon Valley entrepreneur Brendan Eich. He lost his job after activists discovered that he'd made a 2008 donation of $1,000 in support of California's Proposition 8 to ban gay marriage. But in 2008, even leftists said, I'm not in favor of gay marriage. Just four years later, opposing gay marriage was no longer politically correct. An activist discovered Ike's donation. The progressive Silicon Valley community lashed out, accusing him of homophobia and bigotry. Brendan Ike resigned. A year later, Ike still can't find work. He invented, you know, one of the most popular programming languages that we use today and founded the Mozilla browser. His opinion was the 
popular opinion at that time in California, and he still lost his job for it. There's a vengefulness about this intolerance. Everyone knows Brandon Ike isn't an evil person. He just happens to have a different point of view. Why can't he say that? Maybe part of Ike's problem is that he didn't speak out, defend himself publicly. My idea of happiness is killing things. Bo -bo 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 the star of Duck Dynasty did. Phil Robertson's anti-gay comments have gotten him suspended from the show. After Robertson was criticized for telling GQ magazine that he considers homosexual behavior sinful, Robertson didn't back off. I'm not running from anything. He stood up to it. The TV network ended his suspension. Hi folks, how you doing? Welcome to Chick-fil-A. How may I serve you? Chick-fil-A spoke out in defense of its owner's beliefs and sales soared. The answer here is always to push back, I think, twice as hard. He never wants to get his hands dirty. The Benham brothers pushed back. A week after they lost their TV show, someone told them, Guys, listen, one of your clients, SunTrust Bank, is actually going to be removing all of their business from you and your franchisees. I got genuinely nervous, like, oh boy, we're going to lose all of our business as a result of a smear campaign from Right Wing Watch. So we decided to take the story public. They told this website. Then Drudge reported that. And quickly, people started tweeting, SunTrust. This is so wrong. Within eight hours, we received a phone call from SunTrust apologizing, giving all of our properties back. Brandon Ike won't speak. I'm sure he's afraid. Everybody can be safe and not speak about certain things, but we need to disagree. This is what makes America great. Just let your voice be known.